going on guys i'm back for another recreation build and today we're doing something pretty pretty cool today we're recreating um ken blocks ford ford uh, not ford focus ford escort mark ii rs uh, this thing's a really really cool drift car and i'm really excited to build the thing i was actually planning on doing a different video today but then i saw this thing in my garage and i really wanted to recreate it uh, it's obviously not going to be perfect because there's a lot of stuff done to that car that uh, we can't actually do uh, we can't put a roof scoop on we can't um can't get the same bumpers and uh, wide body kit that the car has and stuff like that and it's got tape over the headlights but I do think that this thing will still look really really good uh, I already did go in and find the wheels that look uh, the best the closest as we can to the the wheels that are actually on the car and uh, it already looks absolutely incredible um, this paint was really easy to find uh, just go in the uh, the the design and paint storefront and then just search Ken block and there's only like five that come up and only two of them are actually the this type of paint job and this was just one of them that I picked um, so anyway let's go ahead and get into the build we're just gonna put the front lip on uh, just to get the the front bumper a little lower and then we will put the duck the little duck tail on because the the car does actually have that obviously gonna take the, the chrome off uh, we're not gonna put the mud flaps on and then we are gonna leave the stock hood because all that does is add the rally lights and uh, the car doesn't have those so the car itself only has um, 300 horsepower, um, which is kind of surprising. Um, I believe it's 333. Let me double check that. Yeah, and it's a naturally the naturally aspirated stock motor. Um, actually, I don't know if that's a stock motor. It says it's the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder um, Millington engine. And um, so I don't know if that's the the stock the actual stock engine in the car, but I'm just gonna leave uh, the stock engine in this one. And then we're just gonna put the rally suspension in there so we can uh, we can tune that later and lower it down in a bit. Obviously gonna put all the weight reduction in, and the car does have a roll cage, so we will throw that in there. And then power wise, um, I'm just gonna upgrade it up to uh, to 330 um, and just see how it does. Uh, I'm not going to touch the tire compound or anything like that. I'll just leave the stock tire compound because I do kind of want to make um, as close as I can to the actual build. That is if we can't even reach 300 horsepower. I'm going to be able to do that. We're not going to be able to reach 330 horsepower, but we can do 300. So I guess we'll take it out for a little bit and um, see how it does. And if it um, if it can't really do much, then we will, we will, uh, we will swap the engine, except um, that might mess us up a little bit because the only engine swaps I believe are the turbo rally and then um, a different one the turbo rally and then the 3.2 liter i6 which I don't really want in so I might just swap if I do have to swap I might just swap the turbo rally um, and then I don't even know if I can because all, all I can do that add is just the restrictors so I don't know we'll, we'll get to that when we uh, when we get to that so let's go ahead and tune the the rally suspension and I guess the thing is absolutely slammed it's damn near scrape in the ground and then obviously we're going to want to stiffen up the suspension because it was really loose from the rally suspension i don't want the buff, bump sniffness bump stiffness up uh let's throw that up a little bit and then anti-roll bars uh, we can just leave those where they are gonna want to lock out the diff turn that down a little bit and then um, I'm going to move this way more over to acceleration than I normally would. I'm going to go about 410 because uh, I feel like the car, and I'm going to throw a little bit, I'm going to harden up the back tires just a little bit more than I normally would. And then, um, actually I forgot to throw some camber on. We'll just go like a negative 8 and then negative 1.2 just to start out with because this thing is... Um, even more underpowered than the RX-7 was from the last video, um, but I do believe that this thing can, this thing will still hopefully be really good. It's drifting a little bit. It's wanting to get sideways. I don't know how much that cut out, but my Gato just absolutely, absolutely freaked the hell out I'm, gl I'm really glad i looked over and caught it because i would have been really upset if i finished the whole video and uh, i didn't get all that but anyway let's just get back into me reviewing the little build that we did of the car uh this thing is actually surprisingly really good um it does have a little bit of um of an oversteer problem i guess or an understeer i don't really know what it which one it is but it just it likes to spin out um or it likes to try at least 
Um, I can I can catch it most of the time, but it does it does slow me down a bunch. I'll see if I can I'll see if I can do it again up at uh, up at this next corner just to show you what what it kind of looks like. Cause like I'll go and I'll just get like a little bit too much angle and then I'm just max 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 and it just won't want to turn. You can definitely. Um, you could definitely just get used to this car and find that sweet spot though and just make it look like you're doing that on purpose which you technically are if you find the sweet spot and do it and it could be absolutely incredible you can get some mad mad angles some really smooth looking shots but if you know if you're like a little a, a bit of a beginner drifter i guess this this car might be pretty difficult to drift um because it is it is pretty low on power and then having that um, that kind of spin out problem, like I just did it right there because I went up on the curb and it messed me up. Um, it does get a little bit difficult, but I believe that I believe that you could get used to it. Definitely not a definitely not a car that I would recommend like learning the drift on. But this thing is pretty good, and if you. Uh, you can drift in the game, you can drift pretty well. Definitely, definitely go download the tube for this thing and try it out. It's really, really fun. Definitely the easily the lowest horsepower car I've ever made to drift. And I think this thing even even gets more sideways than the uh, the RX-7 that I did in the last episode was. And that thing had just about 150 more horsepower than this thing does. This thing just really nice though. I really really like this thing. A little bit of a shorter video, uh, just because I running out of running out of time to record this morning. Because uh, obviously my Elgato glitched out and I lost about like five or six minutes of recording, and then it took like ten or fifteen minutes to fix the thing because it was just freaking out. Uh, but anyway, if you did enjoy this little video, uh, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you feel like doing. Just a little last look at the car. It's pretty pretty sweet. Um, if you did enjoy the video, though, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do if you feel like doing. If you want to download the tune, go look up my gamer tag. Uh, it should be uploaded along with uh, the last episode. Gamer tag's in the top right. And uh, as always, guys, hope to see you guys in the next one. And I'm out.